Hey YouTube, this is Darren here, Northwest Marine, coming at you with a December update on my 300 gallon reef. I know it's been a little while since I've come out with any material, but uh, it's just been busy lately, so I thought I'd take some time here right now to show you what's in my tank and what I've been doing. Anyway, since my last update, I have added a few fish. Um, I have added a trio of yellow tangs right here. Now, I was kind of really hesitant about putting them in because they are in the same genus as the purple tang, which is the zebra soma. And any of you guys that know Scott from Mile High Reefers, he also kind of went against the grain here and added a bunch of different types of tangs together in the same genus. And uh, he did it uh, in a good way. He took some time, thought about it, and uh, took a chance like I did and added them in. So it's worked out for him. So I thought I would uh, go ahead and do the same thing. And so far it's been about a week and been a little bit of tail slapping. That's about it. But other than that, not too bad. Anyway, some of the corals I've added in here that I've taken from my other small tank. I picked up this Dragon Soul Favia, the Prism Favia. Kind of zoom in a little bit for you. I thought I'd go ahead and put it on this ledge here. I'm running uh, four of the uh, MP40s. There's two of them over here. And I've got two of them over here. Kind of running them in a linear fashion. Once I get my Apex set up, then I'll be able to control them from my phone or my, uh, my tablet or whatnot. So then I thought this would be a decent position for this uh, Dragon Soul Favia to be in. I also uh, moved this Welso, doing really well here. And this Green Brain, as well as the Red, and a Pink that I picked up. I also moved this uh, Lobophilia and I put it right here. I haven't taken it off the frag plug yet. I just wanted to kind of see what kind of reaction it was going to have to this uh, flow pattern that I've set up and so far it stayed fairly well open. It hasn't closed up or started to brown out and it's been here about a week and a half, two weeks. Now one fish I'm going to have to get rid of is this magnificent fox face. He uh, has pretty much uh, decimated my uh, GSP or green stony polyp that I had right in the middle. So I'm um, Took it out and I'm putting it back in my quarantine, let it grow back again. So, you know, so I think I'm going to go ahead and um, take these pajama cardinals and uh, maybe get some bangai cardinals instead. These guys really don't do a lot for me. Um, they're doing well in here. I've got half a dozen of them, so I'll have to see if I can trap them and get them out of here. So, anyway, other fish I have here on the stock list, of course, I've got this. Naso tang with streamers this is getting quite large as well as this purple tang he's really beefed up quite a bit since I've had him in here I also have a powder brown tang and I have uh, nine of the uh, liar tail antheus here's the male right here and I have a bunch of different females that are over here swimming in the main portion of the tank I like these antheas because they give a little color to the tank and they're an open water swimmer. I have a trio of Picasso clowns. Now I also took another chance too and I have a, uh, a pair of blacker ice clowns that I put in here. I left them in an acclimation box for about four or five days and they, uh, Picasso clowns didn't really pay too much attention to them. A little bit of nipping going on but these guys have been in here now for, oh, probably close to about three weeks. I also have a flame angel as well as some cleaner shrimp. I've got a fire shrimp sitting right here and kind of wedged into these rocks. I can't really see them right now. I've got uh, two cleaner shrimp so I've got a total of four. I also have a uh, solarensis wrasse or tricolor as well as this exquisite wrasse right in here. 
good shot of him right there. And a Scots Fairy Rass from Australia. As well as a Midas Blenny. This guy's a character. He'll uh, he'll go ahead and make his home right into here at nighttime. It's pretty funny. Also, I have a, a black cap basslet. I've had him for some time now, and he's gotten pretty good size in this tank. So he's put on probably about, I'd say, about a quarter to half an inch in there. And also this Melanaris Rass, who's gotten quite fat. And a Peppermint Hogfish. This guy is a real, real hunter, always on the go for food. Got a little bit of an algae issue right here right now, but I've got a couple of emerald crabs and I've got some uh, trochlea snails I'm going to put in here. And I'm going to go ahead and get my, my GFO set back up again too. It's going to take quite some time for me to get my, uh, my corals populated into this tank, but um, I'm definitely looking to add some eye candy in here, some different color. My plans for putting some SPS will be on these ledges over here as well as the top where they'll get a lot more water flow in here and I'll probably make my euphilia garden down around this area right here and possibly down here I don't really know yet what I'm gonna do so anyway guys that's kind of a kind of a list of fish that I've got in right now and some additions that I've also put in here. One thing I forgot to mention here, I've got a, can't really see him, it's a blue throat trigger. He just kind of went back in there. Uh, I was kind of really ambivalent about having him in here, but so far he hasn't messed with any of my, my shrimp at all. So hopefully that's a good thing that he doesn't decide to uh, change his mind and start making a little snack meal out of these guys so he's doing really well he's I keep him fed as well all these fish I feed them a couple times a day so so far there's been hardly any aggression between all these all these fish in here of course you guys know that subject to change any time Anyway guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. I look forward to your guys' comments. Any ideas, I appreciate. You guys have a good one and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all.